svima. Ja pratim joj kači da se prijavio, neka drugarica. Man, let me tell you something. This, I, you know, I've been to, how many countries I've been to? 50, 52, 48, something like that. And this, my friends, Gallo Beach. Here in the east coast of Kenya, right down there about like 20 kilometers, a place called Diani Beach. It's supposed to be the most beautiful in all of Africa, but it's really touristy, okay? Uh, it's filled with beach boys. They call them beach boys. It's these local people who just come up and harass you. They want to sell you something. They want to give you a coconut. They just want to bother you, okay? So I decided to book a place in Galu Beach. It's, you know, it's a little bit south of Diani, like I just told you. And my friends, this will go down as the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. I've been to Florida. I've been to Mauritius. I've been to the beaches of Madagascar. I've been to the beaches in Australia. I've been to oh, the beaches of uh, Mexico, Cancun, Puerto Vallarta. Uh, and this, my friends, is my favorite. It is white. It, I can't even see, you know? You need sunglasses here. The water is blue, it's turquoise. It's warm, uh, I mean not warm, it's cool, it's perfect. There's a breeze here, that's why I'm hoping you can hear me here. Uh, let me turn it around my fat beach whale ass and look at me, man. The sun down here, I mean it's right. We have a pool at our villa, and uh, the sun, I just set out in the sun yesterday for maybe, I don't know, maybe an hour in full sun, and man, I am just red, you know, my face was peeling the other day, but anyway, this goes down as my favorite beach ever, and the other best part about it, look at this. This is paradise, my friends. And there's nobody. There's one guy maybe, maybe, I don't know how far that is. I don't know, 500 feet down there. And there's another a couple people right there. And that's it. Urosh and I are sitting up here, having just drinking beer on the beach. You got boats out here in the water. And I mean, it's just nice, man. Galu Beach. If you want to go somewhere nice on vacation, uh, I highly recommend this. If you want a beautiful beach and not a lot of tourism, you go to a place like Zanzibar and that, you're, you've got lots and lots of people. Here you don't have anybody, you know? It's nice. The water is really beautiful. It's hot outside too. It's probably, I don't know, I would say ooh, like 30, 30 degrees Celsius. I bet you is what it is. So, the sun is here, it's affordable. We got this villa that we're in, I booked it, and I'm so happy I booked it where I did, uh, down here in Gallo Beach, because Diani Beach, you're gonna be harassed, you've got tourists everywhere, uh, the tuk-tuk drivers, everybody's gonna bother you. Here they still bother you, but if you just ignore them and go, you know, I always go like that, you know, and Urosh always speaks Serbian. He said, man, just speak Serbian. So he says, Šta? Ne razumom nisla. Ba, 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 you know? And then they quit fucking with you. But down here, it's affordable. The villa, uh, beautiful villa. It comes with a, a guy, he's he's like the housekeeper. It's a, it's a male, actually. But his name is Juma. He's a really nice guy. He cleans the pool. He does the lawn work. Uh, cuts the grass waters the plants, does your laundry. Uh, he's there every day from like, uh, he got here, he got there this morning at like eight o'clock in the morning and he leaves at like three-ish. So he's around there, he does whatever you want. You can text him, hey, I need this, how do I do this? He'll do it. Um, but anyway, we paid, the total price was $733 for the beautiful place, you saw it, it's gorgeous. That's a hell of a deal. That's less than $200 a day 
Uh, when in Boston, a $200 a night apartment is just, uh, or hotel is shit. So it's so affordable. It's so, <gasps> it's so nice here. Uh, I cannot say enough about it. Urosh also, he's been, he's been to Egypt, to Hurghada. He's been to uh, quite a few places. And we both said that, said, so, man, this is it. This is the best. Oh yeah. Sorry. I, I've even been to, uh, the beaches of Vietnam. I've been to Phuket, uh, uh the Fifi Islands, PP Islands, whatever in, in Thailand. And this goes down as my favorite beach for real. It's not every day you can go to a place with white sand, blue, uh, turquoise water, cool water, and no people. We're the only ones up there. There's like six sets of chairs. You know, it's just us. You know, you can't beat it. So we paid 733 for the villa for, for four days. Uh, you can get a chef. They can bring a chef in. But, I mean, we don't want that. It's kind of awkward. Um... And the food here is relatively cheap. We went to the grocery store yesterday and I spent... The, the, the cool thing is, like when you come from Serbia, uh, the exchange rate is identical... Ooh, what the hell did I step on? Is identical to the Serbian d matter when you compare it to the American dollar. So it's like here, a good rate for one US dollar to Kenyan shilling. That's what they use, the shilling. It's like... Uh, that's it... Or is Vini sto desit is like a really good rate. That's the best rate I've got. Like 110 shillings per US dollar. And in Serbia, it's roughly the same, a little bit less, you know, about 101, 102 Serbian D netters to the US dollar. So it more or less is the same. It's about a hundred for a hundred. So I don't know. To come into this place, because we're not staying here, it's like $8, and you can use it all day. You can use their pool. I mean, we have our own pool, but we wanted a place on the beach. The reason we came to this is because it's private. Uh, you don't have to worry about people soliciting you. And if you just come out to a random beach here, all through here, this is, these are all private like resorts and villas and stuff, so you don't have lots of harassment. But if you go down there to the other part, You've got lots of constant stream of people. If they see you're a Mazungu, which is a white guy, they're going to come up. Oh, hey, where are you from? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but. So, anyway, $8 to sit out here all day. A drink, like a good Long Island iced tea is like $7. Set him still being that, uh, I don't know. I'm really impressed with it. I really like it, you know? Very happy with my vacation. And we're here today, tomorrow. Uh, and then we leave here on the 28th. We fly back to, um, we fly back to uh, Nairobi. And then we're in Nairobi for one day and then I'll be back in Serbia on the 30th. So back in Serbia on the 30th at like 11 in the morning, uh, we arrive. And you know what? The other thing that's a problem now when you travel is trying to find the guidelines like Corona entry shit. You go online. It's like everything is like contradicting itself. It's so fucking confusing, you know. But what we found out finally is that you do not, since I'm a Serbian citizen, Urush, of course, is a Serbian citizen. We don't need to fly to transit through Amsterdam. They're not requiring anything. Serbia to fly into Serbia uh, if you're a uh, you need a, a, a negative corona test that's no older than like 48 hours unless there's lots of exceptions unless you're a Serbian citizen a permanent resident blah 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 so we don't need it uh, in Amsterdam you don't need it to transit through which is is nice uh, but I have a vaccination card anyway so that, that worked last time when I flew into Serbia and they say if you get into Serbia and you don't have all that they can force you to quarantine for like 10 days so I don't know. Yeah, big up. Anyway, my friends, that's it for me, man. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to enjoy some more here in a minute. We're going to... We're just going to go diving. Uh, I don't want to because I don't know how to swim. Yeah. So I'm just going to go to another little beach place, relax, drink some more drinks. While he learns how to dive, you have to do two hours today in a pool. And then tomorrow from 8 to noon, he's going out somewhere to dive. So, yeah, that's it, my friends. Anyway, ciao, ciao. Vidimose. Ooh, I stepped on something else. I'll see you in Serbia soon, my friends. Ciao, ciao.
Serbia. You know what's really funny? A funny little story that I'll tell you. I forgot to tell you earlier. We were walking down the beach, okay? Our place is 15 minutes this way. Just maybe, I don't know, yeah, 15 minutes down the beach and then five minutes over to our villa. Uh, so you walk by, eh, this morning there wasn't that many people. But there was a guy with a camel. He was an Arab guy. There's a lot of Arabs here on the, the Kenyan coast. Uh, when you go to Mombasa, you'll see like all these signs in Arabic because it was a big port. The Arabs, when they first came here, during the slave trade and, and just regular trade, uh, they were there. Anyway, we were walking. There was a guy uh, ca leading three camels, okay? And I had my Serbia shirt, my Serbia shorts. Chubby old Arab guy. He's probably, I don't know, 60. And he was coming toward us because he wanted us to ride his camel, of course. I'm sure. I'm surprised he didn't solicit us. But he saw my shirt and he said, Serbia. He said, lots of war. Ra -ta 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 -ta. Like a gun. And I was like, what a piece of shit. <laughs> Lots of war, fuck you, you know? Anyway, most people here, the Kenyans, surprisingly, I mean, when you compare it to the USA, more Kenyans, I think, know Serbia than, than, than normal Americans. Anywhere you get in a car, they'll say, where are you from? I say, USA, or it's just Serbia. And they're like, oh, Serbia. Yeah, we know Serbia. Nemanja Matic, Nemanja Matic. They all watch Premier League and they know him, so. Anyway, my friends. I'm going to get back to my beer and enjoying this. Just look at this. It, it hurts your eyes, I swear. You cannot see here. I need sunglasses. It's like white. It's like snow blindness, you know? When you go to the Antarctic, uh, anywhere there's a lot of snow, they have something called snow blindness. I mean, that's about what it is here. I can't see, you know? <laughs> but it's beautiful. And here's a little place we're chilling. Anyway, my friends, that's it. I'll let you go. Ciao, ciao.